he's nice, he's loving, he's very thoughtful once you give him a little push. <laughs> Sarah, I would say um, I was struck first by her beauty. When I, whenever I see her smile, it's like the most pretty thing I can ever see, to be honest. Like, it's hard to explain exactly what I'm attracted to her because, like, there's times where we're just sitting at home alone watching TV and not even speaking at all, and it just feels good to be around her. You grab the keys, I'll park the car, we're on the way to who we are. And what we see is gonna change, but our records sound the same. Sounds the same. We met at a bar. We met at Neon's. It was kind of a crazy night. We went to the Hofbrau house with my friend Beth. They were having like an employee day or something, and we were kind of over it, so we were like, let's go to Neon's. It was actually out one night, I was roaming around OTR, ran into my friend. We were right by Neon's, and he said, uh, well, hey, I got some other friends coming if you want to hang out, and blah, blah, blah. And we started playing Giant Jenga with uh, Sarah and a couple of her friends, and I remember immediately just being uh, struck by her smile and her just playfulness. And and I was like, ooh, who's that? He's cute. And then um, I think he like Facebook stalked me. <laughs> Four or five weeks later, I think I started like chatting back and forth. And I think I about three weeks later, I got the cojones to ask her out. I think the most monumental moment before I actually asked her to marry me was when I told her like I loved her for the first time. and. It was just so immediate, like, it was like I couldn't get the words out of my mouth quick enough. She was like, oh, you too! Like, just, uh, it was a really nice winter night, and I think we were watching it snow out the back window of my apartment, and, and that was, I mean, that was that. And I think since then, like, we were learning how to love each other more, and just a matter of uh, spending more time together, and when you start to realize you'd like to be spending seven days and nights a week with a person, then I think that's when you really determine you can love them forever. Let's feel the breeze and breathe the air, and something new from everywhere. Obviously, the plan didn't go quite according to how I wanted it to. Originally, we were going to be in Vegas. My friend that lived out there was going to go hiking with us and bring his camera, and I was going to do it. And um, so I'm like stressed to the max when I hear that our flight is canceled. I was like, great, that that throws away a lot of things. And obviously, her friends knew it, my mom knew it, my sister, my, her parents, and brother knew it. Um, we went to Gatlinburg. I was kind of surprised. And I guess he couldn't find anywhere special to do it, so he just did it in our cabin alone, which is kind of what I wanted. I didn't really want a big to-do or anything. So I actually just did it there before we were going out to a really nice dinner in front of the fireplace. But it was it was perfect for us. I mean, the the corny thing to say is I'm the luckiest man alive. Uh, that will be true. But um, we just keep saying I can't wait until it's just the day of. We don't have to keep planning this stuff, and we can just celebrate becoming one together instead of being on our own. When was the last time? Love ya, can't wait to marry ya. Sarah, I promise to always take you to dog parks even if we don't have a dog. I promise to always figure out the prime people watching spots in every place we're going. Making you smile is what I want to do for the rest of my life.